I try to do is to answer questions. Uh, people have different questions. Today we've seen lots of, lots of different people come in and they have lots of different questions that they, that they want to talk about. Um, some of them are health questions, some of them are uh, questions about the future. What, what do I need to look forward to? Uh, I'm having a procedure done, what should I expect? Uh, do I need the procedure done? That sort of thing. Uh, and, and I try to answer those as best I can. Okay. And so what kind of things can you do for them in a setting like this? Well, if it's, if it's something simple like a sinus infection, which we've seen a few of, and it's kind of a sinus infection time of year, uh, I can treat those. Uh, those are pretty easily treated in a setting like this. If it's uh, something like I have, I have uh, uh, a problem and I'm going to see a surgeon for, um, I can't do the surgery, of course, but I can e ease their mind maybe uh, as far as what to expect because I've seen a lot of surgery before. Mm -hmm. Is it a case where, like, this is time that they can sit and talk to a doctor that's not in a rushed environment like you sometimes uh, find? I would think so. I, I certainly hope so. Um, and and uh, that's uh, something that's good for patients, good for physicians. Uh, and it, it gives me a chance to do some teaching, too. Uh, it's difficult to leave work, go to the, your doctor's office, come back, you know, three or four hours later and, and get back into the swing of work. But it's easy to get up from your desk and go two floors away and say, I've, I've got these symptoms, I've had them for a week, my sinuses have plugged up, you know, and, and uh, get treated and then go back to work. And, and you don't miss any pro productivity either. So. Mm -hmm. Have you found that people tend to come to you sooner than they would if they had to schedule an appointment with a doctor? I, I think it depends on uh, how difficult it is to get in to see a doctor. Uh, as a family practice doctor, I do a lot of different things. And so uh, I'm certainly not a dermatologist, but a good example is getting in to see dermatology. It takes a long time generally. Um, and so sometimes if they have a question about a spot and it can come and say, do I need to have this checked? It's, no, you don't need to have it checked because it's benign. Or yes, you should get that checked. It's, it's easy. The type of thing that a person can put off for years because they don't want to have to go to the doctor here, they can just show up exactly. and... Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it, and it doesn't, doesn't take the, the several months sometimes to get in to see them. Um, about how much time does each employee get with you? Well, that depends. It just depends. Um, if somebody comes in that's uh, got a stub toe and they want to know if it's broken, um, sometimes we can we can check that. Um, if they come in and they've got several questions about uh, my cholesterol is too high, my kidneys aren't working right, and it seems like my liver is going haywire, is it these medications or is it something else? That sort of stuff. Uh, and that's one of the things I like about family is I like to have different things. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know the answer to everything, uh, but I can usually point people in the right direction if we need to do that too. So, yeah, no, I, I, enjoy, I enjoy all sorts of different cases. Okay. And you come once a month right now? 